Monitoring your blood sugar with a blood sugar meter really is an important um, discussion and topic because it really can allow you to have a snapshot in time into your blood sugars and afford you the ability to not only ensure that your care regimen is therapeutic, but really allow you to, to learn about your body and your lifestyle. Typically, these kits come with um, a few major components that you'll require to be able to check your own blood glucose at home. A meter matching test strips, lancing device, lancets, which are small needles used to actually puncture the skin, and typically kind of a small carrying case that you'd be able to utilize to conveniently take this anywhere you go. As far as procedures in checking your blood sugars, there are preferred sites that you typically would use to poke your finger. Usually, it's any finger that's available to use. And generally, we tend to tell people to avoid the center of your finger pad or way out towards the tip of your finger. That's where we tend to have a lot of nerve endings. Choose a spot that feels most comfortable for you. The nice thing about the lancing devices when you are puncturing your finger is the depth can be customizable for your comfort. First, make sure you have all the supplies that are needed. Wash your hands with soap and water. This allows you to get any residues from hand sanitizers or lotions or even food off of your fingertips. Once your hands are dry, you can go ahead and get your testing supplies ready. Make sure your meter's date and time are set to appropriate timetables, and then go ahead and take a test strip out of the container. Once the test strip's out of the container, make sure you close the test strip container because they are susceptible to moisture. Once the test strip is into the meter, go ahead and get ready to lance your finger. Once your finger has been pricked, you can go ahead and set the lancing device down and you can milk your finger from the base of your finger towards the droplet of blood if you need an additional supply or additional amount of blood. Once you have that droplet of blood, you can go ahead and guide that droplet of blood right up to the test strip and the test strip will simply draw that in almost like a straw. Once it's drawn that in, you'll see on the meter that it guides you through a, maybe a five second countdown and it'll give you your results. Once you have your result, you can certainly go ahead and record that in a logbook or a phone app, whatever is easiest for you, and really, again, allows you to learn from your blood glucose values. Be sure to talk to your diabetes care team about your blood glucose goal range. And really, if you start to see any blood sugars that are trending outside of that goal range, remember, these blood sugars are not a reflection of your effort or self-worth. They're simply data to ensure that your care regimen is truly therapeutic. To learn more, pick up your copy of the Essential Diabetes book from Mayo Clinic, now available.